Hello, Pisces. I'm going to get right into the reading, so it's pretty much just whatever wants to come out here, whatever the cards want to say. Phoenix rising, okay. Some of you could be going through spiritual development, maybe a psychic awakening. We have love, soulmate, rejection, take off your mask, selling out, self-sabotage, Victim consciousness. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm getting two messages from this. So one message, and this is only for a select few of you, but I feel like you loved somebody very deeply who either... I feel like maybe years ago they might have passed on or they might have... It just feels like they're a memory. You see this spirit, it almost looks like a ghost or it just looks like someone who's like... There's like a picture of this person... So for a few of you, this could be somebody that you're nostalgic over, that your spirit guides are saying, like, it's okay to love again. You know what I mean? For others, for a lot of you, actually, for the majority of you, I feel like this is probably, it could be you. It could be you or it could be your person. So take it as it resonates. But I almost feel like somebody here made a commitment to never love anybody again. Whatever this situation was, I feel like it was just heartbroken, heartbreaking. So we have, let's see if you can see them here. So we have Phoenix Rising, Love, Soulmate. We have Rejection. And then we have Self-Sabotage, Victim Consciousness, Take Off Your Mask, Selling Out. Making sure you can see them here. So I kind of feel like somebody just got their heart broken. There's some kind of nostalgic energy energy here. There's something that didn't work out work out because I just feel like you like I said, you see how in this picture, it's like he or she. It's like they're 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 not together. They're not able. It's like they're a ghost in this picture, and here they're just in this frame. But it's like they're not actually able to be physically together. So I feel like somebody is just almost committed to somebody else's memory to the point where they don't really know how to move on. And this could be your person. For others, I feel like maybe they've moved on from, for others, I feel like they've moved on from this person, but they just, it's almost like they made a commitment to never love anybody again after what they went through. Like they really lost someone. This could be someone, they could be, could have gotten divorced or they could have been engaged to this person, whatever it was. It cut them so deeply that it wasn't just like an average relationship. This was this is really traumatic. However, they lost this person. The details of that breakup were very traumatic for them. Um, so it could be somebody that, like I said, they were engaged and they just broke the engagement off or they got cheated on or it's like something. There was some kind of major shift where it marked a before and after period in this person's life. And I feel like after this happened. This person just made a commitment to themselves to just never love anybody again. They were they were really and they were set on it. It wasn't like one of those things where they were just in pain. It was like even after the grieving process, I feel like this person just thought, you know what, that I'm never going through that again. It was almost like a like it became a part of their personality almost. Like it was like this vow that they made to themselves. And they feel like if they take off that mask, they feel like if they open up to love that they're selling out. And I think what this person needs to realize, and we're going to pull more cards to get more details, but I, I think what this person really needs to realize is that they're sabotaging themselves. They don't really, they're not realizing that it's self-sabotage. They're not realizing that they're in this eight of swords kind of victim mentality. They're actually viewing it as, you know, I would be selling out if I if I take off my mask, if I let myself be vulnerable again. It's basically just an ego thing. It's it's like this person's very prideful. And I feel like since they made this commitment to themselves that they were just never gonna love anybody again, it's it's like they it's like an, it's like a matter of honor and integrity to integrity to them almost, where it's like they feel like if they were to to open up to take their mask off to be vulnerable that they would just be you know 
that they lie to themselves, that they're they're selling out, that they're not staying true to their vow to themselves. So I feel like that person is struggling with this right now because I feel like you did make them want to open their heart to love again, but it just wasn't, it's like they had their whole life planned out after this. It's like they probably thought they were going to marry this person and it didn't happen. And so they just made this commitment that like, you know, I'm going to go to school or I'm going to work and I'm going to retire at age 50 or 55 or whatever. And I'm going to travel and do this and that. But like love wasn't anywhere in there. Like they just didn't even like this is somebody who didn't even want to watch romantic movies. They didn't want to hear about their friends relationships. They were just like love, romantic love at least does not exist for me. I'm going to take comfort in platonic friendships and in family, but I just, I don't even want to hear about romance. Like they were just, they were really closed off to it. But yeah, it's like, I feel like they, they're, they're rethinking things with you. I feel like you stirred something up in them, especially with the Phoenix rising card. I feel like you really triggered something. You brought something to light that no one else was able to do. But I feel like now they're just, like I said, they're just struggling with themselves. So let's see what else the cards want to say about this. The star, the three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the page of cups, the lovers, the two of swords reversed, in the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like some of them are going through a psychic awakening. So I do feel like they are coming out of this energy, luckily, because with the star, I feel like this is you just being very patient and understanding and loving with this person. I feel like you really you understand that whatever this person went through with their ex, and like I said, it's not like an average relationship. This isn't like you got, you know, they were together for a year and they they were relatively happy and they broke up. This is this is like this like changed them forever. Whatever happened with this person, they they just decided they were they never wanted to love again. Some of them actually I, I am getting that some of them actually were they they were married or they were engaged or whatever. They were close to somebody and that person died. And now they feel like almost like it's a betrayal to be with anybody else. They feel like it's cheating. Um, and so they're kind of getting out of that mentality. And I feel like this person's, I actually feel like it's really sweet. I, I feel like this person's wife on the other side is, um, or, you know, like soulmate wife, whatever, whatever you want to call them. I almost feel like she's actually leading you guys together. Like she actually wants you guys to be together. She wants her person to be happy. She doesn't want her person to just never put themselves out there and never love again because she died. Um, and I think she's trying to communicate that intuitively to this person. She's trying to send that message, but I feel like this person just can't hear it. But like I said, that's not for everybody. For a lot of you, for a lot of people, I feel like it was just a really painful breakup, you know, breaking off an engagement, something of that nature, maybe a divorce. Maybe they lost their kids um, in a custody battle or something like that. Something that was just extremely traumatic that just made them not ever want to be with anybody again, basically. But but yeah, I feel like you're changing that for them with the star here. The star is about hope. It's about faith. It's about renewal. In this context, too, what I'm channeling is I feel like that's you planting the seeds. And I feel like you are just so patient with this person. You're just this person's angel in a lot of ways. You're so empathetic. You're so kind. You're so loving. You've, you've really, you're just this bright light in this person's life. Like they just don't, I feel like they were in a period of darkness before you came around and I feel like you just kind of woke them up again. It's like you kind of made them vulnerable and open to love again, but they didn't really want to be. So they fought it for a long time. I'm hearing that Alanis Morissette song. What is that song? It's, I think it's called Head Over Feet. It's like, don't be surprised if I love you for all that you are. I couldn't help it. It's all your fault. And she is basically talking about how this man like just spoils her and treats her like this queen and male or female, or this could be a, a gay or lesbian relationship too. You know, just take it as it resonates. You know, don't get caught up on gender. If I say female, but you know, it's male, just, you know, just put it, uh, 
yeah, just take it how it resonates. But but yeah, in that song, it's like she's basically talking about how, you know, this man treats her like a princess. Like he just treats her like she hasn't been treated that way before. She hasn't been taken care of like that before. She hasn't been just unconditionally loved like that before. And even though she wasn't looking for love, even though she didn't really want love, it just she had no choice but to just open up to this person because he was just it's like he was just everything she was she ever wanted. You know what I mean? It's like it was the wrong timing, but she couldn't ignore it because it was just he was just so good to her. And it was just so like she knew that he was one in a million. She knew that she was never going to find a, a love like that again. So that's kind of the energy I'm getting where it's like this person's not ready, but they, they don't, they know that this is a once in a lifetime chance. They know that they know that the universe has blessed them with this opportunity to, to have love again. And, and again, I feel like you're, I feel like your patience and your perseverance and just like you you have a really gentle energy and you have a balance where I feel like you're not chasing this person and overloading them, but you are being there. You're being supportive of them. You're being understanding. Like if they, if they are upset about this ex or if they vent to you about things that they've gone through in the past, you don't judge them. You don't say like, oh, I don't want to hear about the ex. Like you're, you hold this space for them where it's like they're able to, you know, be open with you. I think that you really helped this person through their healing process. Like you really gave them that safe space to, um, to start opening their heart up slowly again. And you've just been so patient that I do feel like they are getting to that point where they actually do want to build something with you. They do want to build this 10 of pentacles here. And with the lovers and the page of cups, um, I do feel like some of them are thinking about sending you a romantic message or, a, you know, kind of a message to let you know where they've been, what they've been going through. We have the two of swords and the ace of swords too. And the two of swords reversed. I take that as, I think someone's like took the blindfold off. It's like they have, you know, truth, clarity, openness, communication. It's like they're seeing things in a different light. They have a different perspective on things. They're, they're letting go of that pridefulness and that stubbornness. And they're, they're basically, um, they're, they're basically recognizing that there is something here that's that's worth trying for, that's worth opening up to. So I hope that helps. Are there any more messages here? Let's see. They're, I feel like your spirit guides just want you to kind of absorb this for now because I feel like they want the focus on that. They want you to I think they want you to understand that to understand this person's traumas. Like, I think that you do. I think that you're very gentle, very patient and loving and understanding. But I do think sometimes you probably get upset and you're like, well, damn, like, do they just want the ex over me? Like, am I not good enough? Like, you probably do get in your head about it. And I think your spirit guards are kind of drawing your attention back to to what this person has been through and basically saying like, it's not you, it's, it's them. It's, it doesn't have anything to do with like them pushing, like if they pushed you away in the past, it's like, they're saying it doesn't have anything to do with you. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's nothing about the connection. Like they're, they're saying it's this person's trauma. It's this person's pride, this person not knowing if they really want to love anybody again. And I feel like, I feel like the choice wasn't between you and another woman or you and another man. Like it wasn't like that. Cause I feel like some of you might get that on YouTube. Like if you're like watching readers, they might be saying like, oh, this person like wanted other people. They wanted to keep their options open. But honestly, I think the options that they wanted to keep open, I don't think it was other people. I think the option they wanted to keep open was just basically living their life alone. It was, the choice was basically just between being alone for the rest of their life or being with you, you know what I mean? So that's like when they're keeping their options open, it doesn't have to do with other people. It's, it's more about them about, you know, I hope that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, it feels like your patience, your, your angelic energy, just your, your love for them, your support is really opening them up to wanting to try again. But again, you have to be very gentle and sensitive with this person it is a process. And, you know, I don't encourage you to to go after somebody who's not giving you the time and attention that you need. Like this person should be in your life working through these things with you, not just like doing it on their own and, and ignoring you. That's not really okay. But but I mean, it's just one of those things where it's it's basically saying, you know, keep 
keep supporting this person, keep being gentle with this person. You are, you know, look back to to how far you've come. Like this person really is changing. It's just not one of those things that happens overnight. But um, anyway, if this resonates, please comment below, even just a heart comment, just anything really helps because I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to get these videos back out on YouTube again, like, get, you know, popping up on everyone's feed and whatnot. So I really appreciate the engagement, you know, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. I do these readings regularly. And um, thank you for watching. And if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. That email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute video reading. It, typically my readings go anywhere from like 30 minutes to like an hour and 15 minutes or so. So anyway, thank you guys for watching.